And I think in the future, that's how I always have angel food cake. Kitty, stop! Stop! Stop. Stop. Hey, y'all. Stop. Hey, y'all. It's Christy. Welcome back to my kitchen. I have made a homemade angel food cake, and it was so good. The difference between a homemade and a store-bought is very noticeable if you've ever had the difference. Um, there's nothing wrong with store-bought. I've used them a million times. But I just wanted to say that the um, homemade version was really good very little effort and it's very different in the texture and the taste so stay tuned i'm going to show you how i made it and then how i used it to make a, a strawberry trifle so what i'm doing here is adding a cup of powdered sugar and a cup of cake flour and i'm just going to whisk that up and um, then set them aside I laid 12 eggs out to get them to room temperature, um, but end up only using 10 of them. And I just separate the whites from the yolk. And then I'll add, um, you do that until you get a cup and a half of egg whites. I'll add the, the egg whites, cream of tartar, vanilla, almond extract, and salt to the uh, mixer. And I'll mix those up probably like on medium speed for about two minutes. And then I'll just start adding uh, granulated sugar um, a tablespoon at a time until I've used it all and which takes about maybe five minutes total um, and you'll see in a second it's all nice and frothy and <clears throat> really good texture So now that the egg whites and uh, sugar mixture are nice and fluffy and incorporated, I go back and add um, the powdered sugar and cake flour combo at that half a cup at a time and just fold it in gently um, until all of it chews. Once all of that's blended together, you will pour it into a, an ungreased tube pan. And that's apparently real important because if it, you put it into a greased one, it can't rise up the sides. Um, and so anyway, after you get that poured up into the two pan, you'll put it into a preheated 375 degree oven for 35 minutes.
gonna use a knife, but I just end up using a skewer to get all of the air bubbles out. After the spag, I ended up just covering it with a, a towel, like one of the kitchen towels, and I let it sit overnight, only because I didn't make it at night. Otherwise, I'd probably let it just cool down for an hour or two. And um, what you'll end up doing is getting a knife and just run it around the edge of the cake and the inside part of the cake and lift that out of the two pan and then cut the bottom with a knife as well so that it'll all come out you know quickly and easily. thought what I would do is end up cutting the uh, cake and in, into small pieces but um, as you'll see here in just a second I end up just kind of pulling it apart with my fingers because it was so light and fluffy that it was just as easy to um, you know pull it apart with my fingers um, but it didn't take very long and it felt so good and smelled so good and of course I had a little sample here and there This was two packages of strawberries that we had in the refrigerator and you know we needed to use them so I just thought you know I'll just use all of them um, so I'm just trimming those up I wash them and I'm trimming them up just to get rid of any of the you know the white pieces or any of the parts that aren't any good so um, I do that and then kind of set them aside in preparation for making the trifle This was the fun part. So what you normally do is you would just get um, vanilla pudding and um, you know maybe after you mix it up you would add cool whip to it and I thought you know what I want more of a strawberry flavor so what could I do and I thought you know what I bet you could use jello. <laughs> so believe it or not this is a mixture of vanilla pudding and jello and milk and it turned out really good. It wasn't too thick like a pudding would normally be. Um, but it was thick enough that it held its form and it worked out really well and it tasted really good. It was kind of a unique little combo there, um, but I'll set that aside as well and get that ready for the trifle. And now what I'm doing is just, you know, like a normal trifle, just adding it in layers and um, the you'll see here in a second the consistency of the little pudding and jello mixture. And I also have there the uh, Cool Whip. I could have added the Cool Whip to that mixture, but I wanted it more in a layer form. So there ends up being four layers when you include the uh, strawberries with that. But So I'm just pouring that on and um, layering it. The cake, pudding, strawberries, and whipped cream. And I just do that until um, that, that trifle bowl is full. It's not as big as some of them are. And I end up having enough stuff to make one that I could end up taking up to Mike's like in a to-go container and um, he really enjoyed it too and I got the biggest compliment from Aaron's husband Travis he actually came up to me we were all going out to eat for the January birthday celebrations and he says to me I have a bone to pick with you and I thought oh my gosh what have I done I've done something wrong with Flora and he's never gonna let me you know uh, keep her again or whatever so I'm like, what? And he said, you left that strawberry trifle all weekend and me and Aaron have been eating on it all weekend. <laughs> and so I always take any time he gives me a compliment like that. Um, really, it's a great compliment because he doesn't give them very often. He's very picky. And um, so I knew it was good because he liked it. 
<clears throat> and so anyway, uh, you'll see here, it's real easy to put together. It's a really impressive thing. Uh, it turned out so easy to make that angel food cake and the difference in taste was really noticeable. Um, the texture uh, was really good too and it, it had that sticky outer just like one when you buy it at the store. Um, but it was really good and uh, I'll definitely be making this again. The next thing I'm probably going to make is a, um, it's apparently called a dirt cake. But I asked Travis one day what his favorite dessert was, and he said a dirt cake, and I had never heard of that. But basically, it's just an Oreo trifle, and he said his grandma's is the best. So I sent her a, a, a message on Facebook and asking her if she'd give me a recipe, and it was so cute. She hand wrote it out, and so I'm going to make that, and when I do that video, I'll show you her handwritten note about it. It's so cute. Anyway, um, as you'll see here, it's real easy to put together. And I definitely think you should give it a try if you if you um, you know need something that you can do in advance and is still impressive and uh, very tasty. So what did you think? Easy, right? It came together so well, so quick. And if you've never made a homemade angel food cake, I'd really invite you to try it because it was real easy and the taste difference was amazing. You could tell right off the bat. So anyway, thanks for joining and I'll see you next time. And if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe.